Hey guys, my name is Josh Waking, and I'm going to show off some of the lab work I did in my Programming Foundations 1 class at Full Sail University. I had had no prior experience to programming prior to this class, but after taking this class, I feel like I can finally understand what's going on with it and learn more about it. And I like it a lot, actually. I got an 89 in this class. I'm very proud of myself, considering going into it, it was like looking at a foreign language, and now I can kind of read it, which I'm, I'm happy with. First lab I'm going to show off today is lab one. It was a number guessing game where we had to script out all the text and all the events and all the states and the arrays and all of that such through it. And I'm going to demonstrate it for you. It was all done with Unity and uh, done in C Sharp, which I like a lot. I want to learn the other programming languages soon, and I intend to follow through with that um, in my free time. Anyway, this is my number guessing game. It stores your name to refer to you as later. So we will say Josh, not Jish. Josh. And it has commands that do certain things for it, like spacebar starts the game, Y resets the game, it has to re enter your name. Anyway, let's play our game. You have 10 guesses. After that, it reset, it tells you you failed, and you can try again. So let's see if I can solve this real quick. 50, too high, 25, too high, 20, too high, 15, too high. Oh, it's a low one. 10, 5, 3, so it is 4, 4 is the correct answer, it tells me my name, it congratulates me, it tells me my guess is used, it gives me the reset, play again command. That is lab 1, my number guessing game, but now time to show you what you really want to see if you're actually watching this video, which is the coding behind it. This is the script for that one. All of these were handwritten by me, except for pf1 underscore io. That was a script provided by the instructor for the class that every student had to use in every scripted assignment. or has to be somewhere in the assignment connected through multiple scripts or classes, but it has to be there. And what that is, is that's um, all our buttons that you'll see later on. Um, that's the, the text box that you saw at the bottom of the screen. That's what that is. It's the user interface. Yeah, I'm going slow through this so anyone wanting to check my coding out can take their time and see it. I don't have to keep pausing and unpausing the video. And that would be that. Now it's time for... I'm going to do this in a little bit out of order. I'm going to go to my lab three next. So lab 2 is actually two different labs combined. In lab 2, we wrote out a choose-your-own-adventure story and set up the uh, loop and an enum that held multiple states and two arrays. Well, in lab 4, we took that and turned it into uh, separated into separate classes and added a new in-game state. So it was really like a two-week kind of ordeal instead of one one-week ordeal like these other ones were. And uh, anyway, here's lab 3. This is an inventory screen where you start out with some broken weapons. You type in the name, the strength, and the value of the weapon, and it stores the data on the list for you. Like, uh, we're going to choose a weapon. And it's going to be called the Master Sword because I am a huge Legend of Zelda fan. And it's going to be worth one million gold coins and the attack strength let's go with 5,000 attack strength that would be adequate I think for the master sword and then you can add a shield as well defense or not a shield you can do armor you can add anything you want to it just type in the code word uh, let's say armor of the gods Armor of the Gods. Da, 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 da. Noxious amount of money. Noxious amount of defense. Now that we've added the items, let's check our inventory. And see, you can see here is the original sword. And then this has been grouped with it since it was a weapon as well, the Master Sword. Then the old shield has been grouped together with... The new armor, which has 
its value, its defense stats. And that is the inventory user interface side, but let's get to the meat and potatoes of it and check out the scripts I wrote for this. Here's the initial script. Ooh, that is lab two. Here is lab three. And I know I kind of used a lot of spacing first time or something like this. I actually improved upon that in my next lab. So not quite as beautiful in this one, but it will become more beautiful as I do more and more and more. And these are instructor notes they had put in there for us to check what we did. She gave us a blank script and then we had to go from there and to add the information that was accurate for the script to make it run, which that was a lot of fun. This is the lab script. Here is the weapon script. And I had to entirely write myself. And the item script. This was the item decider script in a sense the inventory script and the defensive item so those are the associated scripts now let's check out lab two I'm going to go through the lab and choose your own adventure, and then I will show you the scripting. Now this one, we actually made scenes for, so I had to create a start screen in Unity. And that's different game states. This was the final project of the, uh, the class. I liked this a lot. It was pretty cool. We had to write our own story, add in our own little personal touches, buttons. Buttons are fun. Anything where your user interacts with it. So I know how my story goes, but uh, let's just say I picked the basket. Open the basket. Oh no, a snake killed me. This was actually the one I personally wrote, so that's why I went to that one first. I added this to the story. The rest of the story scripts were provided by the instructor through a PDF file, which we had to take the text and implement it into the assignment. Now let's go somewhere else. The bowl. Pick up the bowl. Let's drink the liquid. Why not? Strange milky stuff in a strange cell. Drink it. And I did. Shouldn't have drank it. And try the door, just to show off all the commands. Door doesn't do nothing. Back, back to the bowl again. Only other options. Pick up the bowl. Pour. What the logical thing to do is, and there's a key and you escaped. Ta-da! Short story. Fun stuff. And now let's get to the meat and potatoes while you're really watching this video. Oops, that's my recorder. There we go. The scripts. Lab 2 script. This was the initial script that held all of the text, the arrays, the enumerators, the loop. All of it was on here for Lab 2, and it got broken down into these scripts over here. Specifically the story bit, the story manager. But here is the losing one. New screen one, simple enough. Drink, we drank, it was bad. Open the basket, snake gotcha. This was the lose two. This was the custom script that uh, we each student had to add to make their own end to the story. I decided desert escape, why not? Giant snake eats, kills you. Makes sense. And um, this is the start one, simple enough. Start screen. Activate our buttons, that's where that IMIO comes in again. 
All those are part of that. Story commands. And now the meat and potatoes of the whole thing. Just to show off, I connected my sentences correctly. And that is the end of the scripting adventure. Thank you for your time to watch all these videos about me and my progress through school. And thank you for checking out my portfolio. Have a nice day and ciao.